Yo, 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 what's good, everybody? It's your boy JTL, aka Out from the North 18, aka Big Out. Back with another one. So, I don't know if y'all been seeing this picture going around. I've seen this going around for the last couple of days. And then finally, I've seen why. So, this is brought to us by TMZ. And it says, Lil Mama to Sukiana, your NLE slut walk sets back queens if y'all say so make sure y'all go ahead and subscribe share hit that notification bell for all updates so let's see what it has to say nle chopper slut me out remix hasn't even dropped yet but it's already been pissing off some people in the industry due to what they see as blatant misogyny the memphis rapper teased the visual for his updated track on monday which raised plenty of eyebrows. It shows him dog walking his female co star Suki Hana and Pound Town rookie rapper Sexy Rap Red by the colorful weeds. Suki Hana rap career revolves around triple S tropes, and Sexy Red has been going viral for her songs, My Booty Brown lyric. So, yeah, NLE's casting for the video was arguably spot on this is a cover i'm gonna go past that quickly and it says they love them hood rats mixtape dropping soon sexy and suki aka ucky and sucky <laughs> wow however little mama disapproved of what she witnessed only for suki honey to get wind of the sense deleted comments and quickly dragged the lip gloss rapper for infamous jay-z stage crash of 2009 Suki said, they said Lil Mama thinks she better than people just because she got to perform on stage with Jay-Z and Alicia Keys. They said the girl Lil Mama that sang that lip gloss song was in the comments speaking on me. If I was y'all, I would tell her to leave me the F alone. And unbothered Lil Mama responded to Suki with an eloquent tongue lashing, explaining she feels black women like Suki uphold negative sexual stereotypes, despise history proven it's the wrong route to go tmz hip-hop spoke to nle about the track and he claimed it was an empowerment anthem but good luck convincing folks of that now the video clip is out let's see what he had to say after they do these commercials y'all know they be tripping on him <laughs> so i guess we ain't gonna be able to see what he got to say because they tripping all right so let me just go ahead and give my point of view on this. Let's keep it real. Now, I ain't saying Love Mama ain't have nothing to say about anybody else, but this is the problem. Don't say nothing because you see a man in the videos talking about misogyny. That's not showing that he hates women. That's just trying to be outlandish with it. Now, if a woman takes it as that, I ain't mad at her. But make sure you keeping that same energy for Cardi B, Nicki Minaj, which she has, as well as Megan Thee Stallion, City Girls. Go at all of them when they do it to themselves. The reason why it looks like they setting black women back is because they pushing 304s for it. And they've been doing it for the last couple of decades now. You can get mad all you want, but... You got to figure out another way to come at it. Maybe, you know, go talk about it more. Make sure you're talking to young ladies to not be this way. This whole feminist movement crap ain't working either because it's setting our families back. If you're a woman that's swept down, you're an independent boss. You ain't got time to be there for your children like that. You can talk about a, a nanny and all of that. But how does that really help our kids to have strangers raising, raising our kids? Oh, you want a lot of females say they got a support system. But really, they tell my family members that's going to babysit their kids for them. I'm going to need you to do a lot more than that, sister. Keep calling it out. I'm with you. But don't just call it out because it's a man in a video. Call it out because of the behavior. And Sukihana sold her soul. She had a video saying she sold her soul. And she sells something else. These type of females, what we got going now, they was mad at Jermaine Dupri, what he said a couple years ago. It is stripper rap. It's prostitution rap. It's 304 rap. That is the style now. Even though we see a lot of females have messed up lives after they've been doing what they've been doing for all these years, people still promote it. They don't care. 
They don't care if these young ladies' lives get messed up later on in life. They making money from it. Got to take back the control of our image. Not just black men, but black women too. But don't take control of your image to look like a man either. Don't think the things that you like in a man is going to make you look better too, man. I'm just saying. This is your boy JTL, a.k.a. I'm from the North 18, a.k.a. Big Op. We'll be back. You know how we do, man. Stay tuned for more. Chip.